Welcome <laughs> to this. We have the entire leaked Scarlet and Violet Pokedex. Ooh. And we're going through it. The way this gonna is going to go work. If you don't want to okay. see this before Scarlet and Violet come out, get out of here. But if you do, then we're going to show you all the Pokemon. And we're going to give them thumbs look. up or we're going to give them thumbs down. We're going to power through these. There's 105 of them. We're going to give them a uh, thumbs up or starting... a thumbs down? Okay. Yeah. I will. I will. We'll start with the beginning. I'm gonna pull it up. Okay. Sprigatito. Sprigatito. Sprigatito gets a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And then thumbs watch up for heat. Sprigatito. Good. Design. Remember what we talked about a while ago? When I'm like, I'll yeah, be cool the, with this cat as long as he stays on the ground. Yeah, it's Here's a popular opinion, right? And he's I'm got. Still okay <laughs> with, I'm still okay with Florigato. He looks. They, they look. They look more up. like Digimon. Wields the vine hidden beneath its long floor, slamming the hard flower butt against its opponents. He literally has like either a mace or is that a, a yo-yo? Thumbs up. Yeah, he gets a thumbs up. It's Meow it's, still... mm. it's a masked meow. It's a it's a masked cat. Well, you know one. what? Thumbs down, but only because thumbs there's down. just not there's thumbs not down. going on there. Keep it down on the ground. Keep it down on the ground. That's all I wanted it to do. Thumbs down. Uh, next up, we got Fue Coco. Thumbs up! Oh, 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 Two thumbs up. Way up! Okay. Fue Coco for life! You go, Fue Coco! Gotcha. I might choose Fue Coco as my starter now just because of the... Uh, well, I'll show you. We got Crocolar. Thumbs up! Egg on the head! Egg on the mm-hmm. head! Sombrero egg hat. Sombrero egg cool. hat. Very cool. Thumbs up! 100% Crocolar thumbs looks up. looks good. And then finally, Skeletor. Thumbs up! I've seen... Actually, I've seen this one... And some people have been pretty upset about the design of it. Why? He looks rad. I don't know. I don't know. He looks rad. He's a fire ghost type. Uh, the little egg hatched into a fire uh, bird on his nose. And yeah. like, have you seen his attack? No. What is it? His signature attack is uh, the little bird turns into a microphone and he sings into it. And as he sings into it, the little bird turns into a phoenix and launches at the enemy. What? It's the most unPokemon attack ever, but it's because, radish because shit. of the bird on the because of the bird on the on the beak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I love yeah. it. I love it. Skeletor yeah, is great. I like him too. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's my boy Quaxley. Thumbs down. I hate Quaxley. Still thumbs up sticking, for Quaxley. Still thumbs sticking up to the Quaxley for hate. Quaxley. I'm not a and fan then of Quaxley. His evolved form Quaxwell. Thumbs up for Quaxwell. He's a little derpy. I do like Quaxwell more than I like Quaxley. Uh, and it turns out that uh, he became Quaquaval, a water fighting type, who is a dancer. Quaquaval is going to own the runway. And yeah, it is. It he's is a, a thumbs up. Yeah, he's fucking rad. Look at those kicks. It's uh, it's literally just a uh, a water Blaziken. And yeah. that's fucking cool. That's fucking it is, cool it is a little a little bit water blaziken but like more sassy. So, there's nothing wrong no, with dancing. No, that's I know. It's I like it more than Blaziken. It right. gets it gets more points for the sass. Gets more points. For Ten the points. Sass. Two thumbs up. That's it. The hot Lechonk. Pokemon Lechonk. Yep. Love Lechonk. Thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna give a thumbs He's up. He's got Lechonk. crust under his eye. Maybe there's forms. Oh. He's got crust under his eye. No, I don't he think. Does. I think they I think will that's... have them though. We will see. Oh, them. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Wake up next. We've got Oink Cologne. Because because Oink Cologne. Oh, now has it's a makeup. Male, now it's male makeup. And a female. Uh, is that male and female base? Is yes. that what it is? Okay, gotta be. Look at that. It's proud of its fine glossy skin. It's a concentrated scent from the tip of its snail. So that's gotta tail. be the that's Sorry. gotta be the female in the front and the male in the back. I mean, I feel like you're gendering, but okay. It's Pokemon. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They got. Uh, Gardevoir wearing a dress it's only wait actually I think maybe Gardevoir, Gardevoir can be male listen whatever Gardevoir I, can I, be that, male but Gardevoir, Gallade cannot be female I'm sticking to that that's what that is I'm convinced. gotcha alright uh, Oink Cologne is a thumbs up for me I'm gonna give a thumbs yeah. up for Oink Cologne yeah. I like it I like yeah. it a lot uh, next that- up is Da Dunsparce not Dunsparce Da Dunsparce what? What? Yeah. yeah. It's like a Dunsparce, but more. It it's evolves like... from Dunsparce. You remember Dunsparce, right? I Listen, I know that, 
But why is it just like a human centipede Dunsparce? It's like not it's... a human centipede Dunsparce. It just got longer. It's I like Dunsparce. it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I like it. He's got a little beard. He's got three I, sections. I hope. I hope he's actually useful. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, if absolutely, Dunsparce, he will not be. Imagine though, Dunsparce if Dunsparce was terrible. Imagine if the Dunsparce was like a tank. I want a, the Dunsparce. I I like him. I like that we get an evolution of the Dunsparce. Uh, next up, we have Tarantula. Ooh, a little ball of spider web. Little spider webby guy. Little spider webby guy. You know, he's he's already old. It almost feels like <laughs> I know. It he does already look- looks old. It does look like he's an old man. Oh. I give that a thumbs up. I like that guy. The ball of threads wrapped around his body is elastic enough to deflect the sides of Scyther. Wow. Is it, this oh. Pokemon's natural enemy is Scyther. Like By it. God. Uh, it evolves into Spidops. What the fuck is this thing? <laughs> thumbs down. Thumbs down. Yeah, sorry. I'm not, I'm not feeling Spidops. I don't Spidops. even know what I'm looking at right now. I'm not feeling spied offs. It's, it's flat. the trap Pokemon. Just art- for artistically a little bit flat. I'm good. Yeah, no, no. Next up we have Nimble. Ooh, a grasshopper Pokemon. Thumbs up. Thumbs That's up. Look at that. Are those false eyes that it has? No. It, it, see how they, they're perforated still? Like an actual. But listen, it gives me Caterpie, you know? It's yeah. giving Caterpie. Yeah. And I like that. Except yeah. it has those, those those things aren't legs though. Those should be legs, so it can jump. On the back? On the back, yeah. Maybe they might be. They might them. not be out. Maybe they might be out. Uh he evolves into low kicks. Oh dude. Oh dude. He's got a little scythe. Little, Hold little, on. Someone is trying to call me on Discord right now. Little scissor scissor legs. Yeah. Uh that's what uh, dude, he's awesome. Look at him. When it decides to fight all out, it stands on its previously folded legs to enter showdown mode. So wait, hold on. It has two sets of legs, Eric. These legs are folded in the back. I I love him. He's a dark bug. Deployable weapon legs. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up. For low kicks. Thumbs up for low kicks. Relor. Oh, no. Dung Beetle! Dung Beetle gets a thumbs up. Dung Beetle gets a thumbs up. Dung people. He creates Dung. a mud ball by mixing sand and dirt with psychic energy. I'm sorry. Mud my it's ass. Mud. It's mud. It treasures its mud ball more than its own life. I think that's a shit ball, and I am here mm-hmm. for it. Okay. I'm okay with the with okay. that. Next up, it's evolved form. Bug Psychic. Rabska. Oh. Dude, that's some Adventure Time looking shit. That's some... Um... Why do all the uh, bugs the body, look old and wise? Why the do they body all look like old wise the ball men? Barely moves. Therefore, it is thought that the true body of this Pokemon is actually inside the ball. So you're telling me that the shit ball turned into a black hole? Uh, yes. Nice. Thumbs up. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm into it. Little wise uh, old man bugs. Ooh, Grievers. Uh, yeah, I saw I Grievers. Love I saw Grievers intro. Love me. Grievers. I love me a ghost dog. Grievert is a top top ten. Oh boy, I love him. I love him. Without a doubt, so there's good. nothing. A pure gonna... ghost type. He's probably like a physical based ghost type, which is cool. He evolves. I haven't into seen his evolution though. Houndstone. Oh, he's got like a tombstone yeah. that replaces the candle. The he's got Undertaker. Huge... Oh my god. He's got I a huge it. lower jaw. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. He's made of bones now. Har har. Thumbs up. Oh, it's so good. So good. Next I've up, been impressed. I've been impressed with these. Flittle. Yeah, I like it. It's a psychic type. It's the frill Pokemon. I like it. And it levitates about an inch above the ground. Okay, you know what? It looks cute. It looks fine. That's a thumbs up. And it turns into Espartha. Espathra. An it's ostrich like a, Pokemon. Like an I'm sorry. It's an ostrich Pokemon. I'm sorry. Did that thing turn into an ostrich? Yeah. It was it well, a bird before? I think so. Yeah. Go back. Okay, we'll go. No. Yeah. Look at the little beak. That's not a beak. That's a that's a mouth. 
Okay. Sure. It looks like it just sort of opens up it to has be a that bird. Vicious temperament. Oh, I bet it does. Kind of like a kind of like an ostrich. Mm-hmm. Or a cassowary. Uh, you know what? Thumbs up. Thumbs up for the weird uh, psychic emo ostrich. I'm I'm okay with it. The emo emu. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I know next who's up. next. I it's know this for Rigoraf. He's Thumbs the evolved for form of giraff- giraffarig. Now that the brainwaves from the head and tail are synced up, the psychic power of this Pokemon is ten times stronger than Girafferig's. How did this happen? Evolutionary-wise, how did the tail go from over on there to ha, over up there? Uh, my thought is that it turned inside out. The, the, the tail mouth turned inside uh-huh. out uh-huh. and then engulfed the giraffe part. The giraffe looks so fucking smug. In its hoodie. Yeah, he looks like he's going to fuck you up. Yeah. Thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thumbs, thumbs up, up for Furigraph. Uh-huh. Oh, I know this Wait, one. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Thumbs down thumbs for down. the thumbs down for the uncircumcised Diglett? Thumbs down. Really? Yes. Are you going to give us a thumbs up? Yeah, I'm going to give this slippery little demon a big old thumbs uh, up. It's a water type, too. Because he's slippery. Yeah. I, uh... I, I see I see the something. Garden eel. Don't worry, he'll become his I next form. I didn't know that he evolved. Wug trio. Is that legit art? Is that legitimately the art for that? Wug trio. It changes color. It's a triple red rocket. Diglet. Dick. This is a thumbs down. I don't feel okay about Wug trio or Wiglet. Thumbs up. You're fucking. <laughs> his you're wait, wait, wait! Before you go, his abilities are gooey, rattled, and sandvale. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead to the next Pokemon now. He is next gooey po- and rattled, and he is ready to Don go. Dozo. I like that a lot. Oh, his it's Pokemon a is a glutton, like a blob, but fish. it's bad at getting food. It teams up with Tatsugiri. I know what Tatsugiri is, and I'm excited to catch Tatsugiri. I don't know what Katasagiri is. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Uh, I'm going to give a thumbs up to this guy. He's cool. Does, He's just a big he, boy. Doesn't he look a little bit Blobfish-esque with the nose, too? A little bit, yeah. I think that was the point. Yeah, it's nice. I like yeah, it. It's, yeah. it's so, because it's not like 100% Blobfish, but he's got like notes of it. It's mm-hmm, good shit. Mm-hmm. Thumbs All up. Right. Next up, Veluza. God, he's, why is he a part when Veluza discards unnecessary flesh, its mind becomes honed and its psychic power increases. The spare flesh has a mild but delicious phaser. What the fuck? I don't know about that one. So the flesh just comes off. It's a permanent sushi fish. It's a water psychic jettison. It's a jettison Pokemon. So that means it probably jettisons its body parts away from itself using its psychic powers. Is my guess. That's pretty neat. There's something Thumbs about up. that specific art that looks like Yu-Gi-Oh esque to me. Um, I do like the concept of this fish, though. So I will give him a thumbs up. He gets a thumbs up for me. Okay, I'm, this liking, guy's gonna... I'm liking this thumbnail. Is this, this the one that you're talking guy about? Is a thumbs up. Finison. It's just a little dolphin guy. Finison is top ten. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Likes playing with those of its kind using the water ring on his tail. But its evolution is where it goes crazy. Are we ready? Because I'm going to give a big thumbs up to Palafin. A what? Yeah. Why has he got pecs? So it's actually, I think, the same. It's not a true evolution. I I see this is is fan art, too. I've seen what TikTok has done. Um is that the Palafin will battle, right? You return Palafin, and then you send him back out, and then he comes out as this big buff dude, ready to fight for his friends. And it is worth noting that this is fan art. Probably some of them have been. That makes a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. I do like Palafin. Mm -hmm. He's got big pecs. If none of these Pokemon are real, Eric, we're fucked. Listen... We're not here to deliver the news. We're just here to give it a thumbs up. Small of also in the party. Thumbs very up. good. Very good. Very Ooh, good. Give me, give me olive oil Pokemon. 
it evolves into Dolliv. Still also good, yes. Got some Ralts, Ralts Curlia vibes. I'm liking uh, it. And finally, Arboliva. Thumbs up. Interesting. I wasn't All expecting the olives. That. It's very like calm and serene. It's a little olive grove of its own. I'll give I'll give Arboliva like a like a. It's a thumbs up or thumbs, thumbs down. Up. Okay. Don't don't do you're trying to be, don't don't be weird about it. It's thumbs up thumbs down. Don't you know? I like it. Next up we have Capsicid. Yep, thumbs up. Thumbs up on Capsicid. Yep. Yeah. Thumbs up. It's a grass fire type, which is fucking dope as shit. That's also very cool. You know? You know? And he's very like oh, I think it's like capsaicin. He's supposed to be like capsaicin. Yeah, spicy. So, Makes so sense. I, my dream of making a, a chef team is getting stronger and stronger every day. So I'll make only food based Pokemon. Scovillain. Ah, uh, the Scoville like scale, Scoville. I see. Scovillain. Is that for real? I double, love that. It's a double spicy pepper thing. Oh, I love them. The redhead converts spicy chemicals into fire energy and blasts the surrounding area with a super spicy stream of flame. That's cool. I like yeah. it. I like so how villain, weird he is. I like I, that's going in my party, I think. Oh, yeah. Grass fire type? Are there any water, grass fire types? Water would only be normal on it. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's are there, so are there any other than these two? I can't think of any on the top of my head. Yeah, me either. Uh, next up, we have Tadbulb. Yep, like that. Thumbs that's up. good. Thumbs up on Tadbulb. Right? What is he, electric? Yeah, he's electric tadpole. I like him. He's literally a light bulb. I like him a lot. <laughs> he evolves into Belly Bolt, who also gets a thumbs up. Belly Bolt's get, getting a big old thumbs up. Big old thumbs up. He looks like uh, an old... Uh, huh? I want a drum on him. Mm. Got you. <laughs> All right. I, I like these next ones. I, I have, I've liked a lot of them, actually. Uh, Varum. First off, was... it's a poison steel type. Whoa, dope. Second, it's an engine. It is. It's like a rock engine. Steel engine. Steel poison. And then it's next evolution is Revavroom. It's a car engine. I like steel that. Steel poison. I love them. Sort of reminds me of, uh, oh, what's the Pokemon that's just a sword? It creates a gas out of poison and minerals from rocks. It then detonates the gas in its cylinders, now numbering eight. It's an eight-cylinder to generate energy. That's cool. It's uh, literally it's interesting. an engine. Its mouth is up there. There's its tongue. Yeah. That's actually so kind of a cool design. I love it. I love it so much. He's in the party. Um, it's time for an Alaskan bullworm. This is the Orthworm. <laughs> Orthworm's going to get a, a thumbs down for me. I'm not going to lie. Thumbs up for me. He's Apparently I'm... it's got tendrils that it will wield like fists. And it will punch things. I don't Ooh, know where the tendrils... Those... Out of the blue things maybe? I think so. I would hope so. It's a steel type. Uh, no evolutions. But this is... Uh... Here we are. Um, yeah, that's, I'm going to do a party. It's going to be Wiglet and Orthworm, and that's it. You're problematic. All right, next we have <laughs> Tandem Mouse. Yep. I don't know what that is, but I like it. I like that. They're literally just two mice. It's the couple Pokemon. I like it. I mean, it, it feels like it's cheating. That's Why? literally just two mice. So are ice climbers. Okay, but so like it's the same problem with Magneton I have where I'm like, that's just three Magnemites stuck together, but okay. I did catch a glimpse here of what's coming next and I know I like it. You mean the mouse hold? Yeah! The mouse hold? The mouse hold? Are you fucking ki Are you kidding? Uh, the mouse hold gets a thumbs up. The mouse the hold? Mouse hold? A, yeah. Yeah. And it's just four little mice that's a little help mouse household? Uh-huh. And they build huge nests with many rooms that are used for different purposes, apparently. I like that. Uh -huh. I like that a lot. I like this next one. Satoddle. Yeah, that's good. 
Terra Whale Polka. That's definitely fan art. That's different from what I saw of it, but this is it. Oh, and this evolves into the guy who... Uh... This is this is the whale that like went on to land. That's its whole thing. Wait a second. I'm going to look up legit to toddle. I'll have to, I'll have to replace these with, have to replace them? Oh, with the real shit. Sounds well, like I'm going to do it either way. So I'm as, Oh, yeah. No, that is close, though. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Terra well. Yeah. And then he becomes Satitan. Yeah, Satitan is cool. We already knew about Satitan. Fuck yeah, Satitan. I like that. I've, I like a lot of this generation's designs. I've they're, seen they're some sort of nice. mixed responses. Nice. But Thumbs up here. <laughs> It's Pokemon. Just, just waiting for cloth. Uh, what about Frigabax? Who <laughs> I'm getting. I'm putting Frigabax mm. in my party because it's an homage to Godzilla this whole line. Really? Look at this. It looks like stupid baby Godzilla that looked awful. He's going to evolve into Arctabax. Come on. Come on. Yeah, these are good. How up. many have you seen already, Joe? Finally, uh, this back yep. caliber. Yep. That's just that's Godzilla. That's an, an icy ice Godzilla. Dragon too, an ice dragon. They've got some Fuck good you, combos. That typing is fucking stupid good. Grass fire, poison steel, ice dragon. I love it. Okay, and this is the last Pokemon I've seen that someone has showed me because I am a chef. Uh Tatsugiri. It's a little sushi. <laughs> it's a dragon. It's a little sushi. It is. You can just eat it like that. It has no evolutions. Interesting. Yeah, but it's a dragon water type, which is also cool. I don't know how useful it'll be. That reminds me of like Love Disc. Although I had a Corsola in Pokemon Ruby that was level 100 and it kicked ass. So Corsola. I think Tatsugiri should. Uh, <laughs> we should give Tatsugiri a chance. Thumbs up, Tatsugiri. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thumbs up on Cyclozar. We've seen this guy. Yeah. He's yeah. The, he's the guy who becomes a legendary. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the oh. oh right. I don't know if I have seen him then. It's the pre. It's he the becomes that. Interesting. It says no evolutions, but the other the the legendaries of this fun fucking are clearly just Cyclozar. He looks cool. I like him. Now this next also guy, I see him over there. I have seen him. The Pommy, and I give that a thumbs this up. This is the electric mouse of the generation, Pommy. What about the mouse hold? That wasn't electric. I love Mouse Hold. I know you do. Pommy gives a thumbs up. His evolution, Pomo, electric fighting. Ooh, electric fighting. Pomo looks like a stuffed animal that. Uh, he he looks just like he's standing up more. That you would get in a crane game, like a cheap thumbs stuffed up. animal. Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. Next up is Pomot. Electric fighting. Okay. I don't really care for Palmot. It didn't really <laughs> change. She just got a haircut. Really, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Thumbs down. It's just kind of a disappointing third evolution, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not too crazy about it. Uh, Watrol. Watrol! Because it's... Oh, that's cool. It's a flying it's an electric, electric bird. bird, yeah. Interesting typing. Not right? crazy about the design. One rock will kill it. You don't like the design? No. Okay. Not too crazy about it. I think I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's a good basic bird design. All the birds really shine when they evolve to kill a Wattrel. Oh, That's good. Thumbs up. That's like an albatross. Kill a Wattrel? Come on. That's a good name. <laughs> These are clever. That's Mouse a good hold? name. Do you remember Mouse Hold? I yes. It was just get, four little mice holding hands. Bombardier. That's cool too. Does that oh, evolve? Flying is, Dark. No. Oh, okay. I thought that was the final evolution. That would have been interesting, but that's cool too. Flying in Dark too. Oh, I love that. That's like a uh, Murkrow. Um, looks great. Looks evil. Got a sinister little eye there, and apparently it drops stuff off like a stork. Except it'll drop. Po like bombs, I think. Item drop Pokemon. Okay. Nice. Nice. What's this? It's another little group of birds? Squawkabilly! Hey! The squawk oh, okay. It's just the one. It's just Thumbs multiple up. Squawkabillies. Thumbs up for the Squawka. They just like being alone. 
cooperates with its allies, the Squawk ability. It's like a little greaser. One of its abilities is hustle. We're gonna hustle you. Hustle, intimidate, and guts. Yeah. Fuck yeah, hustle bill. That's that that bird is just Danny from Greece. Flamigo. Uh, what? Oh, oh. Thumbs down. Oh. Why is Thumbs he, down. Why is he I don't like how curved and how I don't like that. It's a flying fighting type, which is, is cool. Well, so this has got to go in this that party po- with oh with, God. with uh, Wiglet and with uh, the... This Pokemon apparently ties the base of its neck into a knot so that the energy stored in its belly does not escape from its beak. I don't know what that means. Flamigo's a little bit out of control and I kind of like it. Sure. He's scrappy. He's got t- tangled feet somehow. I don't, you know him. You love him. Flying and fighting. Cloth! The next one. Is cloth. cloth. Cloth gets a thumbs up from us. I here. would die for you, Cloth. I fucking cloth love hangs cloth. upside down from cliffs, waiting for its prey. So but it can't remain in this position for long because the blood rushes to its head. That's sad. But I love cloth. Yep, yep. The interesting thing about doing it this way is that we're getting a little preview for the next one in the corner here. Taste, and taste. what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing there, looks like a Mario mushroom. And I'm confused. Well, actually, and a snack. It's salt. It's rock salt. Thumbs up. No. Thumbs up for the rock salt Pokemon. Thumbs down for the salt mushroom. But look at the name. Knackly. N-A-C-L. N-A-C-L. That's salt. very clever. It's salt. Very, very clever. And it evolves into Knackle Stack. Stack of it. Knackle it looks stack? like Minecraft. Knackle Stack? Knackle Stack. Thumbs up for the name. Not crazy, not too crazy That's about the design. That's clearly Minecraft. Look at that eye. I do like, I do oh. like that it is just looking, looking like a This Pokemon dry cures its prey by spraying salt all over them. I love him. That's tasty. I, I love him. He evolves one more time to the Garganackle. <laughs> no. Thumbs up. Whole line gets a thumbs up. Again, thumbs up for the name. Not as crazy about the design. Oh, he looks so good. He'll rub his fingertips together and sprinkle injured Pokemon with salt. Even severe wounds will promptly heal afterwards. He's a healer. Put salt in that wound. He's a wise... Let's put salt in the wound. I'm going to put Good some dirt in your eye. 2.3 meters, weighs 240 kilograms. Tastes great. I'm happy. Garganackle's on the team, baby. Glimmit. It's poison rock? Ooh. I, I, what? I don't. Thumbs up. I don't know. No? I, I don't know. But what if it evolves into Glamora? Thumbs up. Hmm. No, I'm not, a, I'm not about these Pokemon. Fire like, beams from its iconical body. Listen, mm. man, just because things aren't phallic doesn't mean you can't like it, you <laughs> fuck. Next Pokemon is Shroodle. Oh, look at him. He's a little tiny guy. I like that. I Toxic like that one. mouse Pokemon? Oh, I like Shroodle. that one. Oh, that's teeth. That's its teeth. I do think, I will say about the previous one, what was its name? Uh, Glamora? That does have to go into the same party um, with those other three because of its Georgia O'Keefe-ness. But it just seems lazy. I don't know. It's, it's just a flower. Lazy? Just yeah. a flower? We Fucking, you're crazy. I gotta see the other side of it. I gotta see the other side of it. Uh, so that's four. I've got four on my team now. Graphii. Wait, yeah, hold like on. That. He goes from a toxic mouse. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's the evolution? To toxic monkey? He becomes a monkey? What? That's odd, but I like it. Those do not look... Man, They there are a couple of evolutions in this one that do not have any... like, thread to connect them. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Except for the color there. Graph eye eye. Okay. I, like I guess he's oh. got a little bit of a mouse We, we were face. teased this guy, but Fido is a thumbs up. Fido is a top ten. Hell yeah, Fido is a top ten. Fido... Is the best. I love Fido. Oh, yeah. He love is Fido. bread. I want to eat him. He evolves. I did not it's know that. Dash bun. Yeah, that's a 
noble solid dog. Is that really what it looks like? See these fan art things. Listen, are man, me out a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Uh, we'll put the real image up, so it won't matter. But Dax Bun. I don't even know if there is one. D- Dax Bun. Mm-hmm. It's a fairy type. I think we just got to go off of this. He evolves into pr- probably something like that. Don't know. <laughs> I didn't find it. Did you find it? No, I didn't. I'll eat cooked bread. Um, Mastiff. This doesn't look real. This doesn't look real. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, I am happy if that really is a do- uh, a Dachshund Pokemon. Uh-huh. <coughs> uh, the well, one, I'm going to be psyched about that. Mastiff evolves into, who is also a thumbs, Mabo Stiff. Man, they don't look real. Do we have better art? Fuck me. <laughs> uh, I like the idea of two no dark dogs. Um, but here's, I don't here's know the, if these arts are good. Here's the art for the other guy, I believe. Okay, he looks good. fine. Okay, yeah, he does up. look like... I think Mastiff they did a good job. Will get uh, a, a neutral, because I don't know. But thumbs up for Mabastiff. What is... I... Mm. I don't know if Mabo Stiff is, is real. <laughs> yeah, well, he is. Okay, th- we, we can trust this fan art, man. Look at... Well, you can't see, but just trust me. Dude, listen. What Bramble, the hell is that? He's, he's, a, he's a Bramble. What the hell is that? He's a ghost. He's a ghost possessing. What the hell is that? He be Bramblin. Thumbs down for Bramblin. Thumbs up for Bramblin. Bramblin sounds like Bramblin something down the road. That, a, that a lady would name her kid. And you'd be like, are you kidding? Ghost, you name your kid no. Bramblin? Wind Rider. Bramblin and Braxton. and Bramblegast. Oh, Ryland. Bramblegast. Okay, Bramblegast can get it. He can get it? He can get it? Yeah. I'm putting that in the party. Because, because it will open the he- the branches of its head to envelop its prey. Once it I think absorbs you can all the life st- energy it needs, it expels the prey and discards it. I think you can stick your dick in the middle of that. <laughs> yeah, and then it will absorb all your life energy. If that's what they want to call it, then Surely. fine. Gimme ghoul. Give, I saw a gimme ghoul. Gimme ghoul. And go. born inside a treasure chest about 1,500 years ago. That's fucking. Why is it always sucking out life force? What is all these fucking ghost Pokemon? He's a coin chest Pokemon. Gimme ghoul is good. <coughs> okay. <laughs> and I did see gimme ghoul's evolution today, actually, also. Golden go? Look at that thing. And this is the kind of one where you see this, right? And you're like, is that shit what it really looks like? Yes. This doesn't look like a Pokemon. I know, but that is what it looks like. I saw like video footage of it today. I don't even think that one's Thumbs fan art. Down. Scroll down. Thumbs scroll down. down. Does that one say that it's okay? It does say it's, but that, trust me. Thumbs <laughs> that shit's down. Real. <laughs> thumbs down. I love that guy. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah, thumbs down. What's next? Great Tusk. Is that a Dawnfin evolution? Wait, what is this? What? This is not real. <laughs> so I think there is... Um, I think he is? I'm not sure. Um, I think they gave a bunch of Pokemon, like, evolutions. And well, I think this, this is was, one of them. This one was reported in IGN. Yeah. Not much is currently known about the Great Tusk, although we can assume that it's ground type. Uh-huh. It looks like, yeah, it looks like they haven't um, given it any connection to Donfin because the official art that's come out. So, it's, is a so this more game is based on this? time, right? The game is yeah. based on time, like going back and going forward. He looks like a prehistoric Donfin. Yeah, he does. You know, that's, that's what cool. I'm going to go with here. Uh, Brute Bonnet. Is that an evolution to, um, but you know the one. Yeah. Uh, Amagus. Amoongus. Amoongus. Among Us. Yeah, I think that's an evolution to, to Fungus and Amoongus. Uh, he definitely looks prehistoric. Just saying. These are, these are interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Good bonnet. This Good bonnet. Is past week. <laughs> Pokemon leaked. We'll not post data mined or leaked 
in game. Oh, I see. This is this is all some of this fan art's really good. All fan art. Uh, Sandy Shocks. Ah, yes. Back in time, Eric, when Magnemite came together to form Magneton, they they decided to walk upon the ground. Uh, what? The electric ground Sandy Shocks. What? This I've seen this. It's uh, I don't know if it's real. This is crazy. This this fucking video is fake. Um, <laughs> this is no, uh, a Magneton listen. from the past. That shit's and real, dude. It's ground. It walks. That shit's real. I mean, it's all fan art. I think because legally they're trying. They're like, oh, we're gonna. But but I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it in the game. You know what? Maybe because they're called like Brute Bonnet, Great Tusk, and Sandy Shocks. Those are like the prehistoric yeah. names of the. Pokemon. I assume. I assume that is correct. That's a good scream tail. Yes, definitely. That's what we're looking at here. That is the Jigglypuff with the tail of a Mew. Well, that's going in the party with the with the uncircumcised Diglett and the and the bramble the bramble bush and the only one reported sighting of this creature. This looks like a Mew flamingo. who did not learn transform correctly and got stuck halfway. I you know this is the most interesting aspect of Scarlet and Violet's Pokemon design so far. Like I need to know more. About uh-huh. why that thing exists. Fluttermane. Ooh, Mistrevis. Interesting. Ghost fairy Mistrevis, huh? It's, uh, mis- it's Mistrevis I- with feet. Uh, thumbs down. You're going to give it a thumbs up. I already know. I like all of these, man. It's not because no, it has feet. <laughs> anyway, next up. I hate that that's a continuing joke. You like it. You did <laughs> it. Slither that's wing. that moth. What's the moth guy's name? I don't, I don't remember. It's a newer Larva? Pokemon. Yeah, something like that. Or Larva Moth, like something like that. Um, bug Fighting. Oh, instead of Fire, it's a Fighting type. I like Bug Fighting as a type, and I think it looks cool, so it gets a thumbs up. Yeah, I like that one. Mm-hmm. Next up is Roaring Moon. Thumbs up. Salamence. I love seeing Salamence look cool in any way, shape, or form. How to Train Your Salamence. That's the. I like it. I like it. I like it. I love this Pokemon immediately. It looks rad. Yeah, that's cool. It looks like a what? Dragon Dart? It's a Dark type now. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Iron Tread. See, this also looks like a Don fan, but from the future. Future, it's ground steel. Thumbs future up. Gone. Yeah, thumbs up. Steel, thumbs up. Uh, future Verizion, not in the game. Okay. Hold, hold up, I'm looking it up. Okay. Future, future Verizon towers. Oh, okay, it doesn't look that. It's, I mean, it's it's like Verizion with a with a helmet on. There's also past with like with like, with like, with like at, a spoiler but, on. Iron Moth. I looked at Suicune. Don't like Iron Moth. Nope. Not Iron mm. Moth. They made you fire poison, though. Fire poison. I like the typing. Um, It looks cool. I'll give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Iron Hands. Oh, yep. Hariyama. What are they I doing like that. To I like that. He's become that a cyborg. A, that is a cyborg Hariyama. Fighting electric. Like Ability is quark drive? Okay. Yeah, that's a thumbs up. That's a thumbs up. Iron Jugal. Oh, no. Oh, it's that dragon guy. Yeah. I like that. Dark flying. He's not dragon anymore. I like it, though. Yeah, Hydreigon. The offspring of a Hydreigon that fell in love with a robot. (laughs) Sex robot. Sex robot. Sex robot. Sex robot. We're adding Um, robot sex to Pokemon. Thumbs up. Iron Thorns, uh, thumbs up. Green Power Ranger looking Tyranitar? Yes, saw. Sure. Yeah. Rock Electric, though? Okay. One A Tyranitar from one billion years into the future. From a dubious source. Uh-huh. Iron Delibard. Bumble. Yep. Oh, it gets a thumbs up because he looks like Eggman showed up in the Pokemon universe and is like, I'm going to turn all these Pokemon into robots. 
and uh, he got robotnik Future mailman. Mm-hmm. Ice water. Ice water, not bird. I like it. Iron Valiant. Mm, Did yeah, Galade that... need more fighting fairy? That looks more like Gardevoir than Galade. It's definitely Galade, though. Mm, it's, mm, mm, no, mm. The fan art's so, going to be insane with this one. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Thumbs and with up. a name like Iron Valiant. Good luck, buddy. Ting Lu. <laughs> oh, cool. A fear poured into an ancient ritual vessel has clad itself in rocks and dirt to become a Pokemon. I like that. What the fuck? This is a thumbs up for a dark and scary monster. It's literally like, like a ritual vessel turned into a rope. Oh, that's cool. Thumbs up. Chien Paul. That's almost a character in Mulan. <laughs> That's why I said it like that. Uh, this is a thumbs up and for Mo. me. It's like a little muskrat or something, or a ferret. It's a ferret. It's an ice ferret with like. I like swords. it. I like it. Uh huh. Wo Chen. Oh, that's like a slug thing. Grass dark. It's a slug the with a grudge of a person punished for writing the king's evil deeds upon wooden tablets has clad itself in dead leaves to become a Pokemon. So these are all human names, and they all become Pokemon. Is this, is this like weird set of trio? Whoa, Chen, the Chen ruinous Pao. Pokemon, Chen Pao, and then what was, what was the one before it? Yeah, it must be. They've been turned into Pokemon. Chi Yu. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, I want it. Fire Goldfish. It controls flames burning at over 5,000. Oh, whatever. Don't give me a fucking stupid number. I wonder if... Yeah, they always do that. It's written by 10-year-olds. It's uh -huh. the way. Uh -huh. I wonder if it'll be able to learn a couple of water moves or what. I... Oh, it's Beats of Ruin Pokemon. Beats of Ruin. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love that thing. I love that it's thing. It's cool. Coridon, baby, fighting dragon. We knew about him. Yeah, we a knew bicycle. about him. Uh, he looks Not too rad. crazy about it. What? Oh, what? I love him. Thumbs up. Mm, thumbs down. He looks rad. He's got cool hair. Yeah. And here is Miraidon, electric I dragon. Do, I do like. I do like this one better than the other. Also, thumbs up. But you know, he's just too like robotic, man. I like him. Thumbs up. <laughs> this guy's cooler. Anyway, we're going to go to Tink a Tink. A metalsmith poke fairy steel. Thumbs up. Handmade hammer. Tink a Tink. Tink a Tink. Tink a Tink. Tink a Tink goes into Tink a Tough. Tink a Tough. It's a hammer Pokemon. This Pokemon will attack groups of Ponyard and Bisharp, gathering metal from them in order to create a large and sturdy hammer. It's a oh, hammer. interesting. That's Ponyard. Tink a ton. Tink a ton. Hell yeah! Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Tink a ton is cool. It knocks rocks into the sky with its hammer, aiming for flying Corviknight. This thing is a fucking. This thing is just like, oh, you made a metal? Come on, let's fucking go. I, like I need your shit. I love it. I love it. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Next up is Sharkadet. Charkadet. Charkadet. Oh. Burnt charcoal come to life and became a Pokemon. Oh, he's a thumbs up. He looks like a little Castle Crashers guy. I like him. Thumbs yeah, up. Charkadet. He looks like a... Almost like a Heartless. He evolves into Armor Rouge. Ooh, thumbs up. I saw this one. I don't remember where. Fire Psychic. He looks like a Mega Man character. He does. And I love it. I don't know about that. I'd give Armor Rouge a thumbs up, but... He's incredibly loyal. Oh, and his alternate evolution. I remember this Stellar one, Ledge. too. I don't know why. Fire Ghost is cool. Also looks like a Mega Man character. Mm, thumbs down. Thumbs, thumbs down. down? Flat, why? Flat out thumbs down for Sarah Ledge. It just... Why? I don't know, man. It doesn't do it. The humanoid ones, often I'm not crazy about it. It's just a personal preference. Not too crazy about them. Okay. It's two sword weird. It's got two swords. It's rad as shit. Toad School gets a thumbs up. A thumbs up. A, a double thumbs up. A grass tentacle? Grass ground, baby. He's a mushroom. Whoa, interesting. 
He's a toad school. He walks on those feet. What? Yeah. So there's been clips on TikTok because the Pokemon follow you, and he's just like blip, 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 blip. The lines go like all that. the way up. I like that. Toad school, baby. He's a little anthropomorphic pot of noodles. is mycelium mite. Also, as a chef tra- tra- trainer, he fits in. He True. becomes Toad cruel. He's a woo like Pokemon. I love him. He looks like Cubert. They gather into groups and form colonies and then forests. They absolutely hate it when strangers approach. Me too. Me fucking too, bro. <laughs> Grass ground. Let's go. Let's fucking that go. Is cool. It is cool. King Gambit, thumbs up. The evolution of Bisharp is here, baby. No, I'm not into this one either. He, the, okay, look at an actual art of him. He, or is it just because he's humanoid? I don't know. Maybe it is because he's humanoid. Only a Bisharp that stands above all others in its vast army can evolve into King Gambit. Okay. I don't know. I don't Big know samurai influence. Looks rad. I'm not crazy about him. Love it. Thumbs up. Uh, you'll like this guy. Claude Sire. Yeah! Hell, what? Thumbs up. Behold, the ground... Quagsire is now a ground poison named Claude Sire. And he's a spiny fish Pokemon. I... Quags- Quagsire is my favorite Pokemon. That tracks. <laughs> <laughs> and this well, is big news for me. Does he evolve? Or is uh, this, this sort of like a tentacool, tentacool just, thing? Well, remember, it's he's, he's Quagsire, right? He's just the Quagsire equivalent, probably. This is it. He evolves from the uh, the 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 poison ground uh, Whoopert, Whooper that we have. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Wow. There he is. Claude Sire. Wow. What uh, a day. Annihilate. What? Primeape has evolved and become a ghost. I like Annihilate. Oh, that's the last one. Annihilate, baby. He's the last one. Thumbs up on Annihilate. He reminds me of um uh fuck. Street Fighter. Uh, Akuma. This is the natural progression of a fighter. He goes from this to to this fucking full hair out, angry ghost thing. I'm I'm into it. I'm in. I'm all. He in. reminds me of like a crow scenario. Like they're like Eric Draven was trying to defend his apartment, and then he got shot and was buried in the ground. But little do you know, he has returned from the grave to avenge his death and play guitar on a roof in the rain. And his name is now Annihilate. Annihilate is a fucking metal ass name. It is. Annihilate. It sounds like a band. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It sounds like a like a metal band. That should be in those like letters, you know, like the metal, metal letters. Annihilate. Well, that's the brand new Pokemon, Eric. What do you think? I think that I definitely want a shirt where Annihilate is in like the metal font and then there's there a are some of things underneath it. That I was sent. That weren't on here, and I hope they're true. And by some things, I mean only one thing. What is it? There's apparently a new regional variant of Tauros. Yeah, I don't think that this included any of the variants. It didn't include the Whooper. If it has a fighting Tauros, a fighting type Tauros in that region, I will lose my shit. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, no, that 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 is that is. um, It looks like it's real. No, wait, no, I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Can't tell anymore. (laughs) It says it says that there is a regional variant. All right, well, that uh, that's uh... no wait no maybe not I don't know. Yes, no I don't know. I don't know anything anymore, Joe. Oh, hold on, we got the exclusives, but that's just what's going to be in each version. Yeah, like Orangaroo. Oh well, wait a second. Roaring Moon is in Scarlet. Uh, yeah, because it's definitely a past version. Roaring Moon and Screamtail. Oh, it's past is Scarlet. Future is, oh, is Violet. Yeah. Okay. Well, definitely, I'm get. I'm taking Scarlet. I'll then you're my gonna, fiance then you're Violet. Gonna get a, okay. She'll like. She'll like the robots. <laughs> Probably more than those weird little guys. I think. Fair, fair, fair. You show her that iron bundle. We're good. I dude, I just want that knackle. Interesting oh. though that Salamence is exclusive to Violet. 
Is Knackle a, a game exclusive? No. He's like the Geodude, I think. Okay. What's not available? Oh. What's not going to be? No shit. You can't get Blastoise. But you He's can't not going to be in the tail. game. Just can't do it. Well, I think that overall I'm very happy with the way that this art looks. This, this Me too. Generation. Me too. I'm excited. It's one of my favorites uh, in a while. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all the time we have for today, guys. Thank you for spending some of your time with us, and hope you have a good one. Bye. <laughs> We've been here too long. Let's get the hell out of here. Bye. Turn it off. Stop recording. Uh, to work out the initial lag that seems to occasionally happen. Mm-hmm. And because, then, uh, you, know, you have a bad internet. A bad it is true. Bad. Better, they no, just man. they just raised our price by twenty dollars too. Yo guys, fuck welcome everybody. To... <laughs> All Here, right. do it again. Do it again. Okay. Um, I wanna be the very best. It took Ash twenty five years. He finally won some Pokemon. I think it's. I think the anime is gonna be over. I think. No, I think, it's not over. We are here. No, no, no. I think it is. Fuck off. Pokedex. Let me, let me finish my statement. Let me finish my fucking statement. How dare you? How dare you? You drag me later on the same day to film a video and you won't listen to me? The last episode of Pokemon Journeys is called uh, Pikachu or Pokemon. I glad I, I'm glad I chose you. Which is a nod to the very first episode of Pokemon Pikachu. I choose you. Yeah. Which makes you think oh. it's the last episode of Ash's Journey. Retire him. Yeah. He finally won. There's nothing left for him to do. All right, Eric, go ahead. Uh, what were we doing?